Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is going to be a fragrance oil review haul from Candle Cocoon. They are a relatively newer candle supplier to me personally. I just hadn't heard about them everywhere. I had actually heard about them the first time through one of Vanessa's videos from 1617. This was months and months ago. And more recently, I decided to branch out from my usual fragrance oil suppliers and try out something different. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. So the first ones that I wanted to show you guys are ones that I actually currently have in my seasonal line. So recently I came out out with my collection for spring and summer called the Sunshine Collection. And I actually have two scents from that collection from Candle Cocoon. And the first one is called Sunflower and Sea Mist. And this one is pretty much true to its name. It's very floral with some uh, very beachy undertones to it. When I first smelled it, it kind of just brought me back to spring cleaning, uh, breezy time outside. So kind of during one of the days where it's sunny, but there's a breeze and you have both sides of the house open. So you have a cross breeze and you get the plants from outside, the smell of the flowers kind of going through your house while you're also cleaning and just kind of enjoying the day. Um, I'm thinking more of the afternoon time. So around maybe 12 or one o'clock. I don't know why I get so descriptive with this one, but that's what it just makes me think of. So it has a really good blend of that floral and kind of beachiness to it. Um, and this one I call spring cleaning just because I felt like it fit the name really well. This next scent is one of my all time favorite scents from any supplier. I'm not joking when I first smelled this. It, it's there's something about it that just captivates me and really speaks to me. I don't know why. Um, but it's called surfs up from Candle Cocoon. And it is more than just your typical kind of beachy scent. It has these undertones of vanilla and cocoa butter and coconut and it has basically like a vanilla and coconut suntan lotion at the beach that's exactly what it smells like to me and it's just such a good scent i absolutely love it and both of these throw really really well they're super strong and one of the unique things that i noticed about candle cocoon that i didn't notice about other uh, fragrance oil suppliers is that they recommend such a low percentage in candles. So for instance, on here, it says that they use 3.7% for 464 wax. And I'm like, holy crap, like that's a low amount to use. So I, I still use 8%, but 8%, I mean, it throws so well. Their fragrance oils are really, really concentrated and I can tell just by using these. The next two scents are Cucumber Melon and Tiger Lily and Cantaloupe. And the reason why I'm showing these together is because I actually decided to blend them together to make a candle out of, and I didn't like it. <laughs> so I think it's actually because of this cucumber melon. Now, cucumber melon has been a favorite scent of mine ever since I was a kid. We would have everything cucumber melon because my sister and I just absolutely loved it. I mean, any kind of shampoo, conditioner, body wash, hand soap, everything was cucumber melon. But this cucumber melon, for some reason, just reminds me of um, the green apple Jolly Ranchers. So I think that there's something just off about it that my personal senses don't like. Um, however, this tiger lily and cantaloupe is really interesting. I cannot describe it. I know that the whole point of this video is for me to describe it. There's something about it I just, I can't describe. I'll put up the little um, description that she has on her website. I just, there's something about it. I don't know what it is. I think it's, it's very sweet. Um, I'm, I don't know what tiger lily smells like. Um, and I'm not around cantaloupes very often cause I'm allergic. So, but I think it has more of kind of that cantaloupe kind of scent to it. It has a very mild kind of fruity, fruity scent, maybe some earthiness to it. I don't know. It's very mild. It's very subtle. Um, it's actually pretty nice. I like it. I kind of want to make a candle on its own just with this scent and not blending it with the cucumber melon because I just wasn't a big fan. Um, but I thought that this one was a really, really kind of unique kind of scent, the tiger lily and cantaloupe one. 
This next scent is called Rose Petals and Cream. And this one I actually tried out in a candle in one of my previous videos where I was testing out multiple different vessels. And I did a really, really low percentage on this one and I still got a pretty decent hot throw out of it. So I'm really interested to see how the hot throw will be when I bump it up to my 8% that I use. So I'm really excited to try it. I am not a floral person at all. I really don't like florals, but there's something about this one that I really like. It's, it's much different than just like a fresh cut roses kind of scent, which I've smelled before. I think it's probably the cream, the, the sweetness of the cream that's added to it that gives it more of kind of like uh, a blended balance and it doesn't have that overwhelming kind of sick, sickening kind of floral scent, if you guys know what I mean. So I'm really interested to play around with this one. I want to include it in one of my collections at some point, maybe my wine inspired line that I wanna do. Um, but this one is actually really nice. So I went ahead and got a two ounce bottle to play around with it a little bit more because before I had only gotten the 0.5 ounce bottle. So I'm really interested to play around with this one more. And all of the next scents I'm gonna be talking about, I actually haven't made candles out of them, so I just wanted to throw that out there that everything moving forward is just my opinions of what it smells like out of the bottle. So for some reason, my camera is not wanting to focus when I put up the fragrance oil to it and then focus back on my face. So this next one is called Vanilla Voodoo. I will have everything linked in the description box below in case you guys don't understand the exact title that I said. So this one, when I read it online, I had to try it and this one smells pretty much almost identical to vanilla extract to me so it has that very kind of potent authentic kind of vanilla scent to it and I feel like vanilla is one that I like to try from any supplier that I am ordering from because vanilla is so simple but it can also be so different depending on what supplier you get it from so I actually am really excited to try this and I kind of want to blend it with the rose petals and cream to see what that smells like because I feel like it'll give a really good kind of extra sweetness, extra kind of vanilla scent to it. So I actually really like this one. The next scent is called Sun Warmed Sandalwood. Now sandalwood is one of my favorite scents. It's one of my first scents that I ever worked with, but it's another one just like vanilla that it can be such a hit or miss. The one from California Candle Supply is my all time favorite. I've never found a sandalwood that I liked better than that. And I can say that that's still the case even after smelling this one, because this is much different than the kind of sandalwood that I've smelled. It's very, very earthy. It's not a bad thing. It's not that I don't like this. I actually do really like it. It's super woodsy, super earthy. And I actually really, you know what? I actually really like it. The more that I smell it, the more I really like it. It almost kind of has a little bit of kind of like a nutmeg kind of cinnamon undertones to it. I'm getting that from this. I don't know if it's in it or not, but I really, really wanna make a candle out of this. Maybe I'll blend that and the vanilla voodoo together. Who knows? And see kind of if I can get a really, really nice vanilla sandalwood out of those. But um, yeah, this sandalwood is very different. It's more earthy than what I'm used to, but I'm really excited to make a candle out of it. This next scent is called Raspberry Cordal. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, there's like a wine glass in the photo, so I think it's red wine. Um, this one, it's very nice, very fruity, but not super fruity. You definitely get that raspberry scent. Um, I did actually make it into a wax melt, and I wanted to show you guys this. There is a big color change of the wax, so it is kind of this pale pinkish orange color. And um, so it does tint the color of the wax, which for me, I don't really like that because I don't color my wax. So if I'm making a candle and this is the only color that's obviously tinted with some color, I feel like that's gonna look a little off putting, but it is a pretty nice scent. It's not one of my favorites, um, but it's okay. I would be interested to see how it would perform in a candle, but it's not something that I think I would add to my line simply because of the color change. But if you already color your candles or you don't care about the color change, this one would probably be worth a try if it fit kind of a scent that you were looking for. This next scent, I actually had heard Vanessa using it in one of her videos. It's called Sugar Shanty. 
And for some reason, when I was first hearing this name, I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's gonna be such a really nice, like fruity, sugary kind of scent because it has sugar in the name. I don't know what shanty means, um, but smelling it, it's not like that at all. It smells uh, very fall to me. So it smells like apples and cinnamon, nutmeg, and definitely something else in there, a little woodsy kind of undertones. Um, it is really nice, and I'm interested to see what it smells like in a candle. It definitely smells more fall to me, so maybe I'll kind of revisit this during the fall time, but it was just unexpected, not what I thought it was gonna smell like at all. Um, but of course, I could have read the description on their website and could have seen that it wasn't gonna be super sugary and fruity, but that was just me just kind of ordering it for the name because I had heard the name before and heard that it was really, really good, um, which I'm sure it is in a candle, but just it was a little unexpected but it definitely kind of has that um, apple-y kind of cinnamon tones to it. And then this next one is really interesting. So this is white chocolate raspberry truffle. It is really good. I really, really like it. And the reason why I like it is because it does have that chocolate scent to it, which if you guys have ever tried any chocolate, um, anything that had like cookies or chocolate in the name at all, they all pretty much smell pretty similar, but this one you can actually smell the fruit. You can smell like strawberry, raspberry, whatever's blended in with the chocolate. And it's actually really, really nice. And I don't typically have a lot of really big like dessert kind of scents at all times. I have one called ice cream cake and that's about the most dessert that I have, but I actually really like this one and I've heard a lot of people really love this one too. So I'd probably check this out or just get a sample of it to see how you personally like it. Um, but I actually really like this one. And then the last one is something I cannot pronounce and it was a little sample that I actually didn't order. It was just in my last order of one ounce samples that I got. M-A-J-A-L-A, um, -A -A -A. Mahala, maybe, Mahala Chai. Um, I know, so I've never drank chai tea before or had anything chai, but I think I know kind of the scent that it, it has to it. And this is actually really, really nice. I really like this scent. It has another kind of fall kind of scent to it for me, in my opinion. And I think that a lot of things have chai in it that have to do with the fall time. So this one is really nice. I can't give too good of an explanation. I'm sorry about that because I seriously don't know what's in this, but I will put up the description. Hopefully I put up the description for all of these so you guys know because these are all really, really unique. Um, probably one of the hardest to describe of a lot of these fragrance oils than other fragrance oils. So I hope I did the best that I could with describing these to you guys because I know that when you can't actually smell it in person, it's good to get like a pretty good description of it before you order it to try it. But I suggest you guys, anytime you're trying out new suppliers, go through and pick five to 10 different one ounce samples just so you can get a good gist of the kind of fragrance oils that they have and you can kind of see what you like and what you don't like. And one of the most kind of unique things that I see on Candle Cocoon is she has a section on there where um, she has bundles and one of them is scents that she likes and others is scents that she hates, and then she has a couple other categories. I've never seen that before. I thought that was really kind of interesting, and I had ordered the bundle of the scents that she loves, and I did like a few of them, but it's just interesting because even if the owner of the company really likes them, I hope she's the owner, um, but even if the owner of the company says that she likes them, then that doesn't mean that everybody's gonna like it. So I kind of ordered a few more to get more of like a wide variety of it. Um, but through this process, I found one of my favorite ones, which is Surf's Up. So. I will definitely keep that scent forever, even throughout my um, time of having it within the temporary sunshine collection. I will definitely wanna bring it back somehow. I may add it to the nostalgia collection just because I love it that much, but I will keep rambling on if I don't end the video right here. And I have been interrupted too many times throughout this video of so many different things. Kids screaming outside, lawnmowers or gardeners or whatever's going on outside. There's so much going on today. Um, 
Um, so I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. When I was a kid, my sister and I loved anything cucumber melon. Uh, body wash, hair, wa hair wash, shampoo. <laughs> Hair wash, but shampoo, hand, just, you wash it.